For as long as I can remember, my father was determined to do things his way. In a post-war Britain, this encompassed many aspects of his life and where it was possible for him to defy convention. He was fascinated by the structure and balance of objects and he would work on what he called a problem until he found his own solution. In my work, what I'm actually doing at the time must be an exercise in form, which is abstract. This applied as much to his sculpture as it did to his home, Lippiot Park in Gloucestershire, where we all lived and which was his home for 45 years. This film was made during the last year of my father's life. We've tried to capture the essence of his unique style as expressed in his sculptures and in this house, Lippiot Park. My father's career spanned almost 50 years from 1947 to 1996, but he did not begin until he was nearly 32. Indeed, his route to sculpture was unconventional. He had many qualities that set him apart from other artists and gave him the determination to succeed in those early years. I, I see him as one of five, ten of the top artists of his time, that, that I had a, 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 the privilege to um, be very friendly with. For me is something I highly respect, somebody who actually has a real feel for what they're doing um, and, and a determination to get it right and to keep working away at it until it's right. It's something that a great artist will always do and will always do every time. He wasn't distant from it like some sculptors are, where they stand back, have an idea and watch that idea being crystallised by somebody else. People really appreciated his work. He had a great following and the the nicest thing about it all was that the people who bought his work were people who liked it. It wasn't because it was fashionable, because they'd read in the newspaper that they should have one. He's always been, you know, one of my hero sculptors, if you like. He's always been, uh, I suppose, because of that first connection, but then, you know, familiarity only made me more excited about the work. And um, so, I mean, I'd, I'd always thought of him as one of the great British sculptors, and I, re I related to his work much more easily than I did to Henry Moore or Barbara Hepworth, because there was this sort of angularity and this sort of vit vitality inside them that, uh, that, that I related to much more closely. I met a sculptor when I was about, I suppose, about 16, and I, and I went to his studio, and, and I was interested in, in the actual process of doing sculpture at that time. 